Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm your host, Ali Hammer, and today we're joined with Anna from Education Perfect. Anna, thank you so much for being here today. Can you start by telling our audience a little bit about Education Perfect and what it is that you guys do? Sure. Um, Education Perfect, or EP, is a digital learning platform for schools, and it incorporates three um, key areas, really. We have a comprehensive toolkit, data, and content. Um, in terms of the content, we have a rich library of content with over 35,000 curriculum-aligned um, pre-built lessons across all core subject areas from maths, English, science, languages, etc., and that teachers can access and set as um, tasks for students. Um, in terms of the toolkit, we have tools like EP Studio, which are our content authoring tools. We have EP Assessments, which enables teachers to run formative and summative assessments um, securely. And we have features like um, auto marking, which as you can imagine, is, represents a huge time saving for teachers. Um, this is underpinned by powerful data, data and insights, which enables teachers to provide differentiated learning pathways for their students. They can at a glance identify which students need remediation and extra support and which ones require extension. Um, so this platform, EP for Schools, is used by about, it's used across 3,000 3, schools with about, about 1.2 million students across 60 countries. And we also have EP for Home, which is a B2C product. And we're about to launch a new product for the primary, primary market as well. Wow, that's incredible. I mean, as a mother myself, I've, I've just got a toddler, so she's not yet in school, but I do have a few friends who have mentioned the Education Perfect platform. So it's really cool to speak to, you know, the person behind the platform. So thanks so much for coming on the show. Anna, how has building the EP platform on the cloud helped both your business and your customers? Well, importantly, it's enabled us to scale really quickly when needed, like last year during COVID, as you can imagine, we saw a huge spike in usage. Um, and we had an auto scaling API, which enabled us to scale automatically with limited manual intervention. And it meant that we could continue to provide a reliable and stable service for our customers. And that's something we really prided ourselves on. Um, in terms of a couple of other benefits as well, though, it provides us with a lot of flexibility to experiment and prototype um, before putting anything into production. And it also um, means that we can offload security related requirements that we'd have to deal with if we had our own data center. So yeah, there's a lot of benefits, but the scalability is, has been a really key one over the last year. Absolutely. And I would imagine that the students also would love that ability to log on to the platform from any device just via the cloud. That would help. Absolutely. Um, it means people can access the EP instantly from any device, whatever. Anna, over the last 12 months, the way that educational organizations engage with students and teachers has obviously dramatically changed with COVID. And on top of this, you know, remote learning has become the new norm. So can you share some of the trends that you were observing, observing in the education tech space? Yeah, absolutely. It's been a really interesting space to be in over the last 12 to 18 months. Um, the edtech space was already growing, but there's no doubt COVID-19 really accelerated that growth. And adoption of platforms like EP was really driven and turbocharged out of necessity. What we're seeing now is that, that those huge spikes and that short-term um, approach has really settled and a longer-term, more strategic uh, approach is being taken. Um, blended learning is really here to stay and it's now an integral component of school education. Um, other things that we've seen, that we've seen that buyers have, uh, have changed and our typical buyer has evolved. In the past, purchases of EP tended to be teachers or heads of department. Now the conversations we're having are with school leaders or digital business managers. Um, and more and more, we're also seeing government getting involved, which is great. That's awesome. You know, I did watch your session at the AWS Summit where you shared a lot about how you've been able to welcome over half a million, I'm just gonna repeat that, half a million new student users in 2020. That's huge and it's highlighted, you know, the amazing work that you guys have been doing, listening to your customers. And I'm sure that your platform is just gonna keep growing from here. Yeah. Finally, Anna, can you share any exciting new projects that you guys have coming up? Well, we always have a lot of exciting things on the horizon. Um, we have many, many opportunities, but the challenge for us is prioritizing them. Um, very recently, we secured a new um, private equity investor, which is really exciting. And that's going to really help us accelerate our growth and get to these projects more quickly. First thing we have coming up this quarter is the launch of our new EP primary product. Very exciting. We will continue to focus on mobile. We launched a new teacher app last quarter, 
but this quarter the focus will be on launching a new or starting to work on a new parent app we're seeing that parents are getting a lot more invested and taking a lot greater interest in their school in their child's education and this app will provide greater visibility on their child's progress um, and finally um, I'm really excited to be working on a couple of strategic initiatives with AWS as a partner. Um, and one thing that's really close to my heart is this opportunity for us to work with low detail schools in New Zealand to inspire students around STEM subjects and equip them with um, the skills they need for the jobs of the future. So that's something that we're really excited about and working on right now with AWS. Anna, thank you so much. The work that you are doing is so impactful and it's been really great to chat to you today. I mean, as a mother, as I mentioned, it just means so much to me that there are platforms like this that exist, you know, during COVID when everyone's in lockdown, like right now that, you know, parents and teachers still have the ability to educate our kids. So thank you so much for coming on the show. And if anyone has any questions, please pop them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much for your time.